back to the shed. Thanks for tuning into the channel. If you could do me a favor and hit the subscribe button below, really appreciate it. Why not hit the like button too? Your most is pretty close to it. Anyway, uh, what we're doing today, we're gonna be gearing up uh, the rear seat for uh, the little fella and the wife so I can take them out with me on the trails too. The reason the seat isn't on yet, I had it on the 500 and I took it on and off a couple times, but it's a big pain. You gotta have the washers, nuts, bolts, get your fingers in underneath the rack. It's just, it's annoying. So I came up with a plan and I hope it's gonna work. I picked up some of these uh, link, well they call them replacement parts, but link, link attachment system. I got four of them, two in each box. Cut holes in the seat inside the trunk box and each time I wanna put it on, it should just be a matter of locking and unlocking these puppies. I don't know what the weight limit is, I don't even know if they recommend you use these for a seat. I'm thinking with someone sitting on it and four of these link clips shouldn't go anywhere. So uh, let's get this back rack off and uh, get to it. Wow, that comes out super easy. Some rack on me. Should I leave the back rack off? Let me know. I'm not gonna do it, but let me know. So now what I need to do is take the old seat Put it upside down so that I can line up the link clips. So that rack came off pretty easy. That's all I'm gonna do for the night. I think it looks pretty dope like this, but obviously I'm not gonna leave it that way. Gonna get the passenger seat out of the storage shed in the morning and we'll get back to it. So uh, see you in the morning. All right, we're back. Uh, just dug the seat out of the storage shed. I put it away filthy last year, so just shined it up a little bit, make it look good. Use some of this C1 multi-purpose cleaner. Works pretty good. Spray it on there, wipe it off. No complaints. Big Gabe doing some brake work on the Wolvie. Whoa. Sketchy little jack stand situation, but uh, a little brake work getting done to the Wolvie. But let's head to the shed and work on the Can-Am. So as I've said in other videos, this is not a how-to video, it's a how I did it video. I'm not a mechanic, I'm not a fabricator, I'm just a guy with a four-wheeler who likes to do what he can to make his life a little easier. Sketchy looking. Let's start cutting some holes. close it. Something's just in the way. I don't know if it's because these ridges stick out on the bottom. Shaved a little bit off there and it's still hitting. But I gotta head out now, uh, do some family stuff. It's gonna be at least a three-day project. If you're wondering why I have a couple different shirts on throughout this video, that's why. You're gonna be the death of me seat, but it'll be worth it when it's done. Boy, she stops now, I'll tell you. Look at that brake job factory. All right, we're back at it. Carved a little more out of the opening and we got one in there. Let's cut out another. Keep going. Okay, we're halfway there. We're getting it and it's gonna work. Check it out. So as you can see, it's sitting there. It's not attached in the back, so you can still lift up a little bit, but the front ain't going anywhere. And there's how she looks. Time to slap two more in this bad boy and we'll be done. I think I can make these last two go a lot quicker. Three, two, one. Boom. Just like that. Four clips in there, sitting perfectly on the back rack. Took a little cutting, a little cursing, but uh, it's gonna make my life a lot easier later on. Time to put her back on the Audi. Rick James. Tighten one of these. Yeah, okay. I got this. One. You gotta get the wrench up here, and then you gotta go like that. Do you remember which way is which? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Lefty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. There you go. There you go. And back. There you go. Oh! 
Boom. And she's on. The XMR is now a family machine. But only temporarily. Now I can take it on and off super quick. Just undo the four clips and away we go. So I get out on my own. Family gets out with me too. Everybody wins. Because those seats are a pain in the to take on and off. And well, that was why it hasn't made it on yet. And why it wasn't on the 500 that often. Now she's ready to go and ready to ungo or whatever. So this is a quick way in order to get your seat on and off. If you have a family or uh, anyone you want to take on the back, use those link clips. As far as safety goes, I don't know yet. We're going to find out, but uh, they seem to work pretty good. So like I said, not a how to video, a how I did it video. So now I'm going to take it in uh, to my grandparents, pick up the little fella, let him try it out. Peace.